When has this ever happened? At the end of January, there will be three celestial events all in one. Starting with the blue moon. A blue moon is the second full moon of the month. On average, they occur once every two and a half years. This year's blue moon will also be a supermoon. And that happens when the full moon is at its closest approach to Earth. The moon's orbit is elliptical, meaning one side is closer than the other. The near side of the orbit is called the perigee, while the far side is called the apogee. In the perigee orbit, the moon appears bigger and brighter. It's hard to see these differences when the moon is high in the sky. You'll want to catch the supermoon when it's low on the horizon. The apparent size of the moon will look even larger that you'll probably do a double take. This is what we call a moon illusion. But it gets even better. This super blue moon will also come during a total lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth's shadow completely blocks the sun from the moon. When this happens, the moon loses its brightness and appears to us with an eerie reddish hue. Why red? Because Earth's atmosphere is bending the light from the sun. And from the moon's perspective, you're looking at every sunset and every sunrise in the planet. The total eclipse will be visible in East Asia and Western North America. If you live in the eastern parts of the US, the eclipse will be partial and you'll want to get up early in the morning to catch it. Total lunar eclipses are sometimes called a blood moon, which means put the blue moon, the super moon, and the lunar eclipse all together, and what do we have? A blue blood super moon eclipse. Don't miss this rare occasion on January 31st. It hasn't happened in the US in over 150 years.